Hey there, I'm Levi, the Garage Movie Guy, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Normally, I would be reviewing movies here in my garage, but today I'm going to do an unboxing. An unboxing on this really cool VHS-style packaging of Stranger Things Season 1 on Blu-ray and DVD. If you haven't seen Stranger Things at this point, then man, you're in for a treat. It's an incredible series that takes a lot of things that people find nostalgic in the 80s and 80s kids movies like The Goonies and E.T. It is an A-plus series all the way from the writing by the Duffer Brothers to the production and the execution by the actors. These young actors on this series are quite amazing. One reason I wanted to review this is because the series does kind of fall in line with some of the movies I review. In fact, the very first movie I reviewed was Flight of the Navigator. You can check it out right here. It partially influenced this series and you can really see that influence come out in one of the plot lines in season two, but I won't mention it right now. I will say that I want to do a review of Stranger Things, but I'll mainly stick to movies, and without further ado, I'll hand it over to myself. I did want to talk about this Stranger Things season one boxed set. It's made to look like a VHS tape. You can see here on the back, there's a little blurb, sort of in a style that would have been seen in the 80s. On the side here, you can see the VHS Hi-Fi right here, making it look more like a videotape. There's even a sticker here. It's not an actual sticker. It's printed on the box. But there's a sticker that says ST300, which is presumably uh, stands for Stranger Things. Uh, 300 would be the section it's in in the video store. These little stickers were used in some video stores to keep track of where the videos went in the store. This caught my eye. I saw it in Target. I didn't know it existed. I initially saw the series when it came out in 2016 but in anticipation of season two, this was released and I just had to pick it up. As you can see, it's a season one collector's edition. It includes Blu-ray discs and DVD sets of the entire first season, but I'll go ahead and slide this out. You can check this out. It actually looks like a videotape. It's a little bit oversized because the DVDs and Blu-rays are wider than a VHS tape was, but um, I kind of like the look of the box itself because there were some VHS tapes that came in boxes this large. They just had uh, maybe some cardboard padding or something around them. I, I just really enjoy it. It looks like a deluxe VHS from the 1980s. But looking closer at this, you can see we've got the little label here. We've got the Please Be Kind Rewind sticker, which has a little bit of dirt on it. And that's something I didn't mention. This aging on the box is part of the printing. So um, that's kind of neat. It looks like it's been around the block and it may be a little bit faded and that adds to the cool 80s nostalgia. But uh, yeah, as you can see, you've got the magnetic tapes here. You've got the all the printing here that talks about uh, this little flap that you flap up. You've got this little uh, button here that you press and flip this up so you could see the magnetic tape in here. You've got the little gears here that go onto your VHS head. I don't know what those are called. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a really thick box. It's got a nice feel to it. It's not textured, it's smooth. But um, man, it, it, it feels like really high quality. And it's got a magnetic latch here that opens up to reveal Blu-ray discs of Stranger Things. And you pull on this little doohickey, you got your DVDs there. And one cool thing I noticed, um, I actually noticed it because it was pointed out on a forum, I didn't notice it myself, but Netflix here is written upside down on the DVDs. So that's kind of cool. It's not written upside down on the Blu-rays. So I guess the DVDs represent the upside down. I guess that makes sense at this point in time. Um, if I turn this to the side, you see there, I believe that's uh, Nancy reaching out of the tree. Pretty cool little illustration there. And then we have a sticky note that says friends don't lie. That's a theme that actually runs through season two as well. Uh, limited edition poster in here, which I haven't taken out. I have opened this because my wife and I watched the Blu-rays as soon as I bought it, but I haven't looked at this poster. So I'm excited to take a look. Wow, okay. So it's sort of a, a Demi Gorgon. I don't know if you can see this whole thing. I can't get this far away from my camera, but it's a picture of the Demi Gorgon and his little flower petally toothy grin with Stranger Things written in, I don't know, fibrous materials. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Got the little Netflix logo right here. Nice, clean little red logo. That's a, that's a cool poster. I'll probably slide it back in here so that I don't wrinkle it up any more than I need to. But uh, overall, 
I really like this set and I watched, as I said, I watched these on Blu-ray and the quality is phenomenal. I don't have a great sound system, so I can't talk about the audio. I've read that it is really great if you have a great system, but the picture was nice and crisp and clean. I like having physical media when I can. It's, uh, it's just cool for me to go to the disc player and put this in. Um, one thing I will say about the discs, if you're looking at buying this, this set is retails at like, I think $24.99 which to me is an incredible deal. That's one reason I picked it up because it was so relatively cheap. Usually something like this will cost 50 bucks or more. But one thing about the Blu-rays you need to know going in is that the, the first disc has basically mandatory promos that you have to watch. One of the promos is for Stranger Things season two, which I thought was an odd decision because if anyone who doesn't have Netflix was buying this, they might get a little bit spoiled on some of the things that happened by seeing that promo. And then you also have a, uh, what is it, The Defenders with Luke Cage and Daredevil, Jessica Jones and Iron Fist. Uh, so you've got some mandatory promos. I guess they're trying to reach back to the old days of VHS tapes when you had no choice but to watch them. But all in all, this was a really great buy. And if you are a collector, and or you like Stranger Things, I think you should go out and pick this up. I know that you can watch it at any time on Netflix, but to me, there's nothing like having the physical media of a series or a movie that I really, really enjoy. Thanks for watching this little experiment that I did, especially if you're one of my loyal viewers that loves to watch my movie reviews. If you stuck around for this unboxing, I appreciate it. Uh, pass it around to your friends, anybody that's interested in Stranger Things. And um, you might have noticed that the box is a little shiny when I unboxed it. I decided not to take this plastic wrap off because I kind of thought it looked cool with the little sticker here and it kind of reminded me of the video stores when they would get the uh, styrofoam inserts and put them in here and then shrink wrap just the case. So, I, I don't know. I kind of liked it. I thought it was cool. But I would also like interaction from people who love Stranger Things. And tell me what you like about the series. Try not to post any spoilers. But in the future, I do want to review the series. I think it would be a lot of fun to talk about. And it runs parallel with some of the things I've already talked about and things that I will talk about in the future. But uh, once again, if you're new to this channel, please check out my other reviews. I'll put a link right up here. And subscribe to my channel if you like the way I do things. But until next time, I'm Levi, the Garage Movie Guy saying go watch Stranger Things.